welcome to another video. Who doesn't like co-pilots? Well, at least I like them. When I covered the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model in my previous video, I couldn't resist trying out a co-pilot with it because it's the best model I've ever seen. I mean, it literally outperforms every model in existence, from GPT-4.0 to Gemini, Llama 3, and almost every other model. It's even better at coding, which is amazing to say the least. So, if we can make it a co-pilot like GitHub Copilot, we should get some pretty amazing results and even outperform GitHub Copilot, which is pretty insane. I also asked you guys about it and you said yes. So today, we'll make a copilot that can outperform GitHub's copilot by a significant margin. Apparently, GitHub Copilot still uses OpenAI's old Codex model based on GPT-3, which is pretty gross. I mean, you're paying $10 for that gross model. I think you guys are being robbed. But today, I'm going to help you break free from all those fees and subscriptions. Instead, with Claude, we can use their API, which only costs you based on the requests you make, which is pretty cool. I'll be using the Continue Dev VS Code extension to integrate the Claude API into our editor. Although the extension suggests using a local model for auto-completion, we should still be able to connect the Claude model. I'll be showing you how to set up the Claude 3.5 Sonnet in both the chat interface and for auto-completion. Plus, I'll also show you the recommended way, using a smaller local model for auto-completion and only using the Claude 3 model in the chat interface. This way, your API charges will be extremely low since it won't need to contact the Claude API every time and will only connect when necessary, which is pretty cool. I'll also show you how to set up Shell GPT with it so that you can get a similar interface to GitHub's Copilot Shell suggestion tool. This way, you'll get all the features you might need if you're switching away from GitHub Copilot. So, let's get it installed now. First, go to Claude's API site Create an account if you don't have one, and sign in. Once signed in, create an API key and save it. They also give you a free $5 credit if you want to use that. Anyway, once you have the API key, let's first install Shell GPT since that's the easiest. To do that, just run this command, pip install Shell GPT. Once you run it, Shell GPT will start getting installed. After it's installed, Run this command. This is required to make it work with Anthropic's model. Once it's installed, run the sgpt command. At this point, you'll be asked for the API key. Just enter your Claude API key that you just got. After you enter it, you'll see an error. You don't need to worry. Now, open the sgpt config file. In there, turn on the uselite LLM variable. Then, Change the model to Claude 3.5 Sonnet like this and save it. Now, you can start using the sgpt command and it should work. If you want to generate shell commands directly with it, you can use the shell operator. If you want to know more about its functions, you can check out my shell gpt video. Now, our shell copilot is fully configured. Next, we'll need to set up our VS Code copilot. To do that, Go to your VS Code and open the extension tab. Search for Continue Dev and get it installed. Once done, you'll see the Continue Dev extension on your sidebar. Click on it and it will open up. Select the Remote Models option and choose the Anthropic option. In the Model section, if you don't see the 3.5 Sonnet model in the dropdown, don't worry. Just select any model and enter your API key. Then click on the Add option. The config file will open automatically. In the config file, change the model name to Claude 3.5 Sonnet and save it. Now, you can start using the chat interface. It can generate code, and you can use the Insert at Cursor option to directly put the code in your file. You can also select your code and add it as context. 
you can use the CMD plus I shortcut to generate code directly in your files without going to the chat interface, which is pretty cool. But many of you might want the autocomplete feature. First, let me show you how you can use it with Claude, and then I'll show you a better way for autocompletion using a local model to save on API costs. To use autocompletion with Claude, go to the config file. In the tab Autocomplete option, change the provider to Anthropic and the model to Claude 3.5 Sonnet. Once done, save it, and the autocomplete should start working. It's actually pretty cool for autocompletion. However, autocompletion typically only works for one line and basic stuff. So instead, we can use the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model for generating code and chat purposes. And for autocompletion, we can use a smaller local model. There are multiple options for the local model, like DeepSeek Coder 3B, StarCoder, and CodeQuen, but I prefer the Quen 2B model. So I'll use that. To do this, go to Alama's site, click on the download button, choose your operating system, and get it installed. Once done, go to the models page, click on the Quen 2 model, Select the 1B model and copy the installation command. Paste it into your terminal and get it installed. Once installed, you'll see the chat interface. Send a message and check if it works. Once done, go to the settings file, change the provider to Alama, and set the model to Quen 21B and save it. Once done, your autocomplete should start working and it should be pretty fast. I recommend using it this way. It will be much faster, better, and cheaper. You can use the Claude 3.5 Sonnet model for your main generations and chats, which is what we mostly want. It's pretty cool, to say the least, and it's insanely better than GitHub's Copilot. If you use it correctly, it can be much cheaper as well. Overall, I really like this setup. I'll be using it as my main Copilot from now on. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.